Hey guys, what is up? This is ETG and welcome back to another video on FIFA 19. Now today, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the FIFA 19, the journey rewards that you do get on Ultimate Team. So if you guys don't know, once you guys complete the full journey, you will get some cards on Ultimate Team. And uh, this year, they're not too bad. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Now before I get into this video, if you guys do want to go ahead and enter into my monthly giveaway for 50,000 coins on FIFA 19, just leave a like on this video, comment down below, letting me know your console, and subscribe if you're new, and you will be entered. And sorry if my voice sounds kind of different, I just woke up, so don't mind that but as I've said let's go ahead and now take a look at these rewards you guys do get for finishing the journey so as you guys see right there this is the rewards you do get so once you've completed the whole thing you do get yourself an 82 rated Alex Hunter card I think last year he was 75 rated so this time 82 not bad his stats aren't the best but I mean it's a free card you also do get yourself a 75 rated Williams card as well not too bad so those are the two cards that you're gonna get and also you guys do go ahead and get yourself a gem hunter card before completing the whole thing if you complete the first part you do get a gem hunter card so that's pretty nice those right there are the in-game stats of uh gem hunter as you see not bad not bad stats at all ad pace is decent and then those right there are also the stats of alex hunter as i've said his uh, rating did get upgraded from 75 to 82, but I think that his actual in-game stats didn't change too much. They don't look the greatest. I mean, 85 penalties doesn't really matter. 80 sprint speed is decent. 84 stamina, decent. No standout stat that he does have right there. I mean, just regular, like, average stats. 78 finishing, 78 attacking position. And uh, I think he isn't the tallest either, so I mean it's decent for a free card, but who really is going to be using him? I don't think anyone. And uh, those right there are the in-game stats of uh, Williams. So I mean again, not bad, but I don't see too many people using him. He does have um, actually no stat in the 80, so that's actually a pretty terrible card I think. Maybe people might use them for an SBC, but I mean, what's the point of completing the journey for just using these cards for SBCs? But yeah, those right there are the three cards that you guys do get and the in-game stats. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed and found this video helpful. If you guys have, leave a like on the video. And again, if you guys do want to go ahead and enter into my giveaway, leave a like, subscribe, and a comment down below with your counsel. So yeah, it's been your boy TG. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed as I've said already and I will see you guys next time. Peace.